Damn, son, where'd you find this?
are listening to the Budos Band live here at 90.3 KEXP and streaming all over the world at KEXP.org. Those songs, The Enchanter and Old Engine Oil, all from the new album, which is uh, the Budos Band 5, their fifth record, obviously. And uh, Budos Band, just uh, everything that you put out, each record has just been fantastic. So thank you uh, for blessing us with a new Budos Band album. Hey, thanks. Yeah, you betcha. <laughs> You're welcome. I want to thank, we got a lot of people in the room. I want to thank yeah. Brian, Daniel, Thomas, Mike, Jared, Andrew, Eric, Rob, and John for uh, taking the time to play for the KEXP listeners. And your music has been used in everything from movies, documentaries, TV shows, even video games. And it's apparent that your sound is so universal and loved by so many people. And given all your accolades and history, is it true that this band started out? I can't remember which member it is, but I thought I saw an interview somewhere. This band started out where somebody was playing air drums to Metallica at a party. Is that true? It's true. <laughs> is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just started playing, and I, you know, I wasn't very good, but, you know, I was passionate. <laughs> I was passionate, but Dan, the bass player, he was already been playing for a while. He's an established musician, so I was getting crazy at a party, and he was like, hey, man, da-da-da, and, like, we started jamming, you know, from, he's like, let's, let's play some music, so. Was, but it, it was it didn't sound anything like this. Right. You know, with the, the first stuff back in 19... Sound well, more airy. The first, the first. <laughs> <laughs> I just en- envisioned somebody playing air drums to Helpless, yeah. uh, Metallic from Garage Days Revisited. Yeah, and it reminded it me. I, I, I haven't heard Helpless in a while, so oh, thanks for reminding me of helpless. that. That is. Awesome. Um, also, <laughs> so uh, th- that's going back to the the uh, very very beginnings. But then there was another pivotal moment in the Budos band history. And can you tell the listeners how influential the band Anti Ballas was to your sound in the beginning? I mean, we didn't really know what a- what Afrobeat was before uh, Anti Ballas. Honestly, like we we uh, listened to an old radio show that's not around anymore on uh, Tuesday nights because we used to pr- have practice on Tuesday nights and we were just hanging out listening to the radio after a practice one night and uh, who, what, what was that show? Night Train it was called on 89.9 on Night Train or something whatever they were like oh tomorrow night or whatever Auntie Ballas will be playing I'm like hey you guys want to go? so we just kind of went to see him and we wouldn't, didn't know what to expect and then we saw that like you know 12 guys on stage and percussion and horns and all and we were just, blown away because we were just playing small four or five guy kind of like soul music and we didn't know anything about afrobeat until we saw that like maybe the dactaris record on desco back in the 90s was like our first introduction to that kind of stuff but when we saw them play live we were like holy crap like let's let's try to do this Mm -hmm. so like we just kept recruiting friends that could play instruments until we kind of did tried to do you know that style of music, but mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't think it was very successful. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's amazing you can get this many people together with so much talent. I mean, I've played in bands for years. It's hard to get even three people on the same schedule to have band practice. So it's a, an amazing feat in my eyes. We don't even have band practice anymore, really. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's so many elements that that create your uh, distinct sound, and I was researching some of, um, or each of your inspirations, and within this band, I've seen inspirations from, uh, that you're inspired by Cannonball Adderley to uh, Blind Willie McTell, all the way to the MC5 and the Damned, and would you say that each uh, member's personal influences has the freedom to sneak into the sound of the Budos Band, or do you have specific parameters of what the Budos Band should sound like? No, there's no parameters at all. Except, I guess, uh, don't play anything in a major key. But other than that, I mean, bring it, you know. Yeah, and you've played so many uh, countless shows. Everybody that I've ever talked to has just been like, have you seen the Budos Band live? People love the live show. They're playing tonight at Numo's. I couldn't recommend the Budos Band more. And is there, uh, lastly, I wanted to know, is there a country that you haven't played yet that you really want to play, like checkmark off the bucket list? Turkey. Iceland. Turkey. Iceland. Turkey? Japan. You haven't played Japan yet? I was curious. There are a lot, apparently. Where's your favorite country to, that you've played? Texas. Texas. 
<laughs> it's a big country. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're listening to the Budos Band live right here on 90.3 KEXP. And uh, the Budos Band have a couple more songs for all of our listeners. So if you are all ready, you can uh, take it away.
You've been listening to the Budos Band live here on 90.3 KEXP. Fantastic sound. Thank you again for taking the time to do this. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. That is Brian, Daniel, Thomas, Mike, Jared, Andrew, Eric, Rob, and John. They are the Budos Band. The new album is called Five. And don't forget, they are playing Numos tonight. I would not miss it. So thanks again to the Budos Band. And uh, keep on listening right here at 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org. Damn, son, where'd you find this?